Okay, so then that happened. Great holiday, love that for us. We got home and that night my car got stolen. Hey YouTube. So I'm just showing them the space. What do we think of the cabinetry? I love it. Bit bloody cute, isn't it? it is. And I'm just wearing some jeans. Got my Arigato sneakers on. She's a cash today. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am sorry, I've been a bit MIA. I have lots to catch up with you guys on. But first of all, I do want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You guys know Squarespace is a regular sponsor on my YouTube channel. And that's because they are such an amazing platform if you want to start a website or get a domain. And basically, they were the first platform that I use to go from Instagram to having an own, yeah, like space where I could put everything. They're really amazing for digital products too, which is I kind of created my website because I did my ebook. So if you're a creator and you kind of want a space where like your, uh, you know, community can go and they can have a one click, you know, they can go to your uh, YouTube, they can click on any free downloads, they can look at blog posts. It's just a really great space because unlike Instagram or YouTube, there's no algorithm and you know that people are seeing your stuff. Uh, it's very easy to use too. So it's very easy to make a website. Um, I will put my pretty website on the side and then it's very easy to, you know, like add blog posts and do that sort of things. Like I'm not tech savvy and yeah, I found it so helpful. It's my very first kind of like tech thing I ever did. It was a big moment for me going, you know, into the online world. Uh, so if you're a content creator or if you're a product-based business or you're starting a business, really cool platform to check out to get your website running. Um, and because they are sponsoring this video, I do have a 10% off code for you. I'll put it here and link it in the description. But a big thanks to Squarespace for making this episode. This episode? <laughs> this video possible um all right guys bloody long time no speak can i just say that breakfast is my current faves since we spoke in my last vlog which was like about a month ago it has gotten cold it's gotten bloody freezing here in queensland and like when i say freezing i'm talking like 11 degrees that's cold for us i've been like wearing a puffer jacket on our morning walk so it is Probably the most dramatic thing ever, but also necessary because I really do feel the cold. Um, so yeah, it's gotten cold here. So I'm really loving oats. Um, like you can see those oats are like already honey and cinnamon, delicious. Put my Thrive Protein in there, mix it together. Koyo, berries, honey on top. So simple. And then it's just a really good like kind of like whole meal because you've got your fiber from your oats, you've got your protein, you've got your fruit um, and all that good stuff. So that's like my current go to warm breakfast. Um, but yeah, long time bloody no chat. So if you guys have me on social media, you'd probably be up with this. But if you don't, my life has been a bit crazy. Um, I actually went to Uluru for a holiday, which was probably my favorite holiday ever and I didn't vlog it because it was only four nights and it was a very special time for me and Tim it was for our anniversary and it was such a special time and like I don't know it's such like a sacred place like you go there and like the energy like you can just yeah you can feel it I'm gonna put some like videos here as I'm talking because like incredible and we stayed at this place called um longitude 131 i'm pretty sure 
not sponsored or gifted or anything like that. We paid, um, and it was, it is very, it's a bit pricey, but it's like almost like that once in a lifetime sort of place. Like it's not like I'll regularly be going there. So it's kind of like, it is a bit pricey, but it's an all-inclusive stay. So not only does it include your accommodation, it includes all food and alcohol. Your girl is loving the champagne, the French champagne. And then also, um, it includes all the tours. So every single day we'd wake up early, we'd go on a tour, like do a base walk of Uluru or go to Katajuda. And then in the afternoon, we do like drinks and canapes, see like the field of lights, like really amazing stuff. If you guys are Australian and you haven't visited the heart of Australia, go and do it. Highly recommend, like honestly, favorite holiday to date. And you know, I'm usually like a tropical beach gal, but because we live so close to the beach, we wanted to do something different, did not disappoint. Okay, so then that happened. Great holiday, love that for us. That night we got home, so my parents were staying at our house looking after the dogs uh, when we are away. We got home and that night my car got stolen. Yes, my beautiful baby got stolen. So what basically happened is, and it was completely random, it's not like we were targeted because of me or my socials, so three other three other cars got stolen in the area and what this it's like a group of kids they'll come into a suburb all split up go and steal cars and like drive and drive them and it's not like they're stealing it for money it's literally for fun so they also have this instagram page where they post on it and black like brag that they've stole stolen like a luxury car and it's just the most fucking bizarre fucked up thing ever so what happened is they came in around 3.30 and they picked the lock of our house and took the keys off the bench, opened the garage and drove my car away. It's actually ridiculous now that I'm thinking about it. Um, it was quite lucky. We obviously got into the police straight away and it was, first of all, it was actually quite lucky because Wolf Bar because my wallet, which had like over $600 worth of cash, because you know how you take cash on a holiday, um, like my new expensive designer bag I just bought for a special occasion was on the bench. My laptop, my iPad, because we had gotten home, I literally had all my shit everywhere. And right next to like my keys on the bench and they must have like, and the police officer said that they usually take everything. So they came in and then they must have um, wolf barked and must have scared them. So they just took the keys and they like left um, with my car. So it was like, that was fine. They just took the car. They found the car only about six hours later. So that morning, because it was honestly so lucky guys, they did a search in this, this girl was 16 years old. So a boy and girl got charged. The boy is 15, the girl is 16. And they did a search in the young girl's house for another reason and found my keys, confiscated my keys and later found my car. Um, so there was only like a window, the side mirror got smashed in, I don't know, they must've hit something. And uh, that got broken, which is, um, so I'm just getting that fixed on insurance, but I still don't have my car. So I got a hire car for 21 days that my insurance covered and then they didn't cover it anymore. So I've just been like getting Ubers and <laughs> getting around or carpooling with, you know, Tim or Mel or Cooper to work. So a bit of a life update. That was a bit of a, uh, you know, crazy thing. And it has just been like a really good, you know, I like to really just turn the positive. And it's been a good thing because I was like a super trusting person. I grew up um, in the Burbs, in Brisbane, in like a really kind of like good neighborhood where it wasn't, like, it's not like it was a high end neighborhood. It was just kind of like normal, but there wasn't a lot of crime. And so I don't know, like to be completely honest with you, I would walk down to the beach, which is only like 500 meters away. And I'd actually leave the house open or like lock it, but just not be too worried, not like lock everything and like freak out about it. So I was like super trusting person and it's been a good reality check to be like, oh no, 
you cannot trust anyone you've got to lock the house all the time and of course like we keep the house locked like <laughs> we do do that um but like now you know we take our keys upstairs uh we just got a security system in we've got all security screens on the bottom level just very kind of um we've got a camera we've got two cameras now so a bit more sorted and it was probably the reality check we needed because where we do live is actually a high crime place <laughs> i remember the real estate agent being like it's up and coming. You know what they say that about suburbs? Like it's up and coming. It used to be a bit dodgy, but it's up and coming now. And like, it is true, but it's still used to be a bit dodgy. Um, so anyway, that's a bit of a bloody life update for George. All good. So other than that, you know, just been working hard, doing my thing. Um, I'm also struggling with some health issues at the moment, which Oh, I just like can't be bothered to get into I think I'm gonna do a different video for that but you know about my Hoshimoto's it hasn't like it's not extremely bad like it was last year since I got my implants out it has like helped severely and like just for example my level so before I got my implants out let's just say my thyroid levels and I'm hoping I'm saying this correctly was like 14 and you want them to be like zero so mine was 14, so it was like quite bad. Um, and it's like normal to kind of be the lower range. Um, so I was 14, I got my boobs out, it went to nine, sorry, six or nine, and then another couple of made months later, it went to zero. So they were very kind of impressed. It was like very fast, and they were like, holy crap, your boobs must have been like really not making you well. Um, but I just have to get tested every couple of months, just what I have to do. And the last time I got tested, it was up to two. So like, not much, like still very, very good. Um, but yeah, just like a lot of stuff happening, being super busy. A lot of stuff in my personal life has been happening, which I will again, I'll update you in another video. But Oh, you girls just like, it's been a lot and I'm sorry I've been off for a little bit. I'm, I feel like we say this every time, I'm going to be a bit more consistent. But today, so me and Tim have been enjoying a lovely morning walk, got some coffee, uh, you know, take the dogs down the beach and then I'm going to quickly get ready for work. Um, I've got a podcast and then I'm going to the warehouse. Oh my God, i got to show you the new warehouse because it looks sweet and yeah that's about it and before i get changed i just want to show you some cute new gymshark and bloody ombre blue oh my god that's bear crying because he can't get up the last step i'll show you come on you can do it you literally walked up all these stairs so bear tripped on this last step once and now he just refuses to get up come on you can do it you can do it Oh my god. <laughs> there, you did it. Hello guys, I'm just at the NH warehouse. So this morning I did a podcast with Lucy and Nikki from the Happy Hour podcast. I'll insert some video content from that. And I also interviewed Courtney Magnan, um, who is part of the spinning spin and co pr company and network so just got two podcasts done for the rise and conquer podcast and then i've just got to the warehouse i actually completely forgot to share my lunch but it was this delicious like tiktok wrap you would have i feel like you would have seen it i'm gonna put like a photo here of what it is and basically like think of a wrap you cut one bit and you put all your fillings in and then you wrap it in like quarters and then I toast it on a sandwich maker and then I cut it in half. And it's very simple. Like I'm literally just using like tuna, carrot, lettuce, um, spinach, mayonnaise, uh, cheese, toast it. And it's actually my favorite thing ever. Like it's something I'm having every single day. Um, so did, yeah, just doing some NH stuff here. I will show you guys like a bit of a, a preview of the warehouse because we've had a lot of updates, still so much to go, but 
some updates nevertheless. So I'm just going to finish off some work here and then go home this afternoon, hopefully go for a beach walk and chill out because I feel a bit exhausted today. Um, but yeah, so what I'm trying to do is come into the NH warehouse with the team at least three days a week, if not more. And it's just, it's better for the team because things are a lot, um, you know, like if I'm here, me and Mel can liaise a lot better than her having to call me. And yeah, it's just a good sort of environment. And then it's also really good for me with routine. So I'm coming into the warehouse a bit more. And then once my office is finished, like, you know, I'll want to, it'll be that environment. Um, but yeah. Also guys, the, a little outfit of the day. So this jumper is Jagger and Stone, which is actually the fashion label that the two Lucy and Nikki own, who I just interviewed. And I'm just wearing some jeans. Got my Arigato sneakers on. She's cash today. Hey babe. Say hi to YouTube. Hey YouTube. So I'm just showing them the space. What do we think of the cabinetry? I love it. Bit bloody cute, isn't it? It is. So guys, we've got a new rug. Very nice. Two cute chairs. We've got new cabinetry, a sign, a couch to go there and a table. Obviously ignore this mess. Um, and then we got this cute new kitchen bench. We've got a new coffee table coming, but this is just where everyone has lunch. But I'll quickly show you upstairs. How's your day been, babe? Oh, it's been pretty good. How's your day been? Yeah, good. It's busy. Busy. Busy, but good. Like it, oh, everyone, interesting. I went up there doing it like this. I wasn't. Sleeping on the I wasn't sleeping. All right, so I walk upstairs. We've got this cute little console. We've got wallpaper coming for this wall. So we kind of just ignore this mess. It will look cute. And then we've got not much of the team here today, but we've got Jay down the back. You guys know Jay. And then Kira, who is our new social media assistant. Hi. Kira, do you mind being on YouTube? That's all good. <laughs> okay. She's used to it. She's a social media star. So, oh, I love the dried plant. I haven't seen this. Beautiful. I love it so much. I have to juice my desk up a bit. Yes, look, we got another dry plan. How's everyone's day been? Oh, you know, pretty cool. Productive? As always. <laughs> oh, what I like to hear. So, guys, this is Cooper's office. Again, not much happening here. A little bookshelf, maybe. Cooper got his desk, which is actually the same as mine, um, and just in this like herringbone look. And yeah. Not much happening here. So we'll just go straight into mine. Oh, we got this cabinetry put in, which is exciting. And then my room, not too much happening, but new desks, chairs. And then I've got these bookshelves going on this wall. These bookshelves were literally quite cheap, cheap sorry, from Amazon. And then this is wallpaper, which, yeah, is going to go there. So I'll give you guys an update at a later stage, but a little warehouse update. So I've done all my jobs for the day. I just actually had to film a little video for Mel um, because Naked Harvest is doing a live sweat event. I'm so excited. We are revealing our brand new products. Uh, sorry, our brand new product range. So if you have us on socials, obviously you'll see this later, but we have been talking about a mystery a product range coming. And so we are doing a reveal, excuse me, through a live sweat workout. We're doing a hustle workout, which you guys know is the new Pilates place I've been going to. And it's that workout. If you watch the vlog about the greens vlog, um, we did a Pilates workout at Hustle and oh my God, it's, I had so much fun in that class that I then went and joined Hustle. So I'm very excited to, um, we are very excited to be doing an event with them. Um, so it's literally going to be the 1st of May. I will put details here. You can join from all over the world. Uh, we will reveal the product. You will get, um, 
a sneaky discount on the new product, you will be the first to know. You'll get a free workout taken by uh, one of the Hustle instructors. And also, um, Hustle has an online platform. So if you join this event, you will get a free month with them. Uh, plus, we have some really cool prizes. So we literally have a um, first prize is a thousand dollars plus um, a two hundred dollar like a thousand dollars cash plus a two hundred dollar NH gift card and then the runners up four runners up all get to try the range for free um, and yeah just very cool we just wanted to like we were thinking of an in person event but we really wanted like to be very inclusive to the whole NH gang and, you know, people in other states and people overseas. So come join us. It's going to be so much fun. Get your sweat on, find out our new product, plus go in the draw to win $1,000 cash. Crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm so bloody excited. So I just filmed a video of that and put that on socials. But now me and Tim are going for an afternoon walk. I have to have like a kind of wind down activity after work. So we're going for a walk. I know this puffer jacket may seem dramatic, but it's not. Queensland has like all of a sudden got cold. I don't know. This puffer just jacket is from LSKD. Um, I do have a code for them. It's new and I'm obsessed. If you don't have a puffer jacket, I feel like we all need one for winter. Um... But yeah, so just waiting on Tim and then we'll do a little beach walk and then we're having lasagna for dinner, which I'm very excited about. Guys, it's a bloody sad night. Look at my moon milk. Big 400 grand tub, almost gone. Much just poor. So with my moon milk guys, I do that. I then pour about a tiny bit of water on top just to cover it and I mix it and then, um, no, actually, sorry. I probably do about half, mix it, and then I pour my milk in. I'm just gonna get a bit steamy water. Mix that bad boy. To be honest, um, Oat milk is my font favorite non-dairy alternative. Almond's like all right, but it's just like not the best. Like if you're gonna do um, moon milk, like try and get oat milk or just use like normal dairy milk. Fine, almond milk isn't like thick. See how it's a bit watery. Whereas if you're using dairy or oat, it's like quite thick. I'm going to have this. We're currently watching Suits. Um, like rewatching it. I've definitely seen the whole series, but I don't know. There's nothing good to watch on Netflix at the moment. If you have any recommendations, please leave a comment because I would like love to watch something new. But in saying that, I bet anything you say, we've seen it. Like we're big TV people. So. <laughs> but also, I just realized I forgot to show you our delicious dinner. It was lasagna that my parents made. So my parents are currently um, at my brother's house, which they live close to us, house sitting um, because my brother and his wife and kid are holidaying. I don't know why they took so long to get out. Um, and I just because, you know, these health issues and I've been flat out. Mum's like, I wanna make you guys some dinner. And so she's made, what did she make the first night? Cottage pie, yum, Shep like shepherd's pie. Like you've seen me make it all the time. That's her recipe. And it's just like potato on top, mince and veggies. Um, and then she made lasagna with like gluten-free lasagna, just like a normal lasagna made with like cottage cheese and yum stuff. And then also she said on um, the next night she's gonna make us cabanara, which is just my favorite. But yeah, so it was delicious, but I'm going to have my mil moon milk and wrap up this vlog. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys later. Cheers, see you in my next vlog.